Hi, hello and welcome to today's video. So if you haven't seen any of the other videos that I've been posting, I have had bookshelves which has meant that I've had a huge sort out of all of the books that I own and because of that I've realised that my physical TBR is slightly long, slightly long okay? So today we're going to be sorting out my physical TBR and I'm going to be showing you every single book I have on my physical TBR. What I mean by TBR is my to be read book, so that's what TBR stands for and I'm going to be showing you every single one that I own. So, <laughs> don't hate me, okay? Don't hate me. I'm also going to be logging them all on my Goodreads so I know exactly how many books I have on my physical TBR because quite honestly, I'm, I don't know. I just don't know how many books I physically have on that and I really want to keep a better track of the books that I own. I can clearly see them now on my bookshelves, the ones that I've read. The ones I haven't read, they're just kind of in no man's land right now and so I need to sort them out. So that is the job for today. And this is not it, okay? You think maybe they can do is just count them. That's, like, there's not many there. And in there. So when I say I've got a few, I've got a few, I think it's in the hundreds. Maybe a hundred books on my physical TBR. I'm going to say I've got a hundred books on my physical TBR. If I have less, fantastic. If I have more, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to start off by doing this putting them all into piles of genres. I order things by genre and alphabetical order. I'm not a rainbow girly, sorry. So we're gonna order them by genre and then alphabetically. So I'm gonna start off by popping them all into genres, which I think is gonna take me a little bit, but it's fine. Get ready for a cute little, a cute little time lapse. make this up i literally just ran downstairs because the postman came with a book i know what it is though i ordered this myself because i wanted to complete my collection i'm so happy i'm so happy oh my goodness she's gorgeous i managed to snag the signed edition because my other two aren't signed so this is the atlas complex by the queen and i now have the completed waterstones exclusives which makes me very happy so i need to put some on my shelf however looking at it i ran out of space we'll deal with it later we'll deal with it later feeling overwhelmed Okay, so I've put the first set of books into the TBR cupboard. I've started with fantasy hardbacks on the bottom. We've got The Serpent in the Wings of Night, The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi, Shanghai Immortal, Violet Made of Thorns, Silver Under Nightfall, The Curse of Saints, One Dark Window, Foul Heart Hutsman, Throne of the Fallen, The Darkening, Lord of the Moon Goddess, and The Foxglove King. And all but one of those was already on my physical TBR on Goodreads, which made me very happy. So I'm not, so far we've only technically added one book, but also we will be getting rid of some so it's gonna balance we're back so now i've sorted out my top shelf which i'm calling my romance and then i'm gonna do fiction books so the row behind is romance the row in front is fiction so i'm gonna show you those now i did oh, i also did manage to take some off my physical tbr as i was going through if i didn't think i was gonna read it i'm being very ruthless because i think somebody else can get more enjoyment out of a book than it just sitting on my shelf for two years so i'm really trying to be like okay if i'm not gonna read it it can go Okay, so we've got Fangirl Down, The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy, The Love Light Farms uh, books, The Fake Mate, The Fix Upper, Icebreaker, Check and Mate. They, these three here are historical fiction. We've got The Graham Effect, The Influencer series by Amy Lee, um, Consider Me, The Alice Oseman Universe going on here, Stealing Home, The Chestnut Spring series, The Weather Girl, The X Talk, and then The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. Just found this whole clip without pressing play. Cool. Anyway, the next shelf we have is my miscellaneous shelf. So, so this has women's fiction, literary fiction, strange books, why books so why a romance why thrillers we've also got a stephen king book on there it's a random assortment of books that are just in the tbr cupboard so i'll show you that now so we've got good material rouge the vanishing house orientation i wish you all the best girl crush shark heart to all the boys i loved before a good girl's guide to murder misery the bell jar glorious exploits lapvona maud horton's glorious revenge after i do forever interrupted one true loves the island of missing trees on beauty after don't ask this is for a video but we've got after before we say goodbye for goodbye as lies of sing to the sea tomorrow 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 
the Christmas Wish, Holly Jolly Ever After, and then a special edition of Solitaire. And I've just done some DIY and changed my shelf so now I can fit books straight up in here. Normally they're lying down, but just saying I'm a DIY queen. That has taken me so long. And if I'm completely honest with you, um, I forgot to film a lot and I rearranged them. So so I don't know what to do right now. Um, but I'll show you I'll show you what I've done and we'll go through every book because why not? However, the top shelf hasn't changed, so that top shelf I showed you complete same, but we'll go through the rest. So this is the TBR cart. It's basically a fantasy TBR cart. I originally was going to have this as, as my immediate physical TBR, but it just was easier to kind of correlate everything by genre. Like that's how my brain works. So we've got the entire like City of Bones, Mortal Instruments series, and then the Infernal Devices. We've got the We Hunt the Flame, We Free the Stars duology. At the back here, we've just got some like random books. That I'll just go through so you can see. That one's upside down. I think this second shelf is probably my favourite for the TBR cart. So we've got A Trial of the Sun Queen, The Rule of the Aurora King, Two Twisted Crowns, Hellbent, Powerless, This Dark Descent, Ghostwood, Assistant to the Villain, An Enchantment of Ravens, Vespertine, A River Enchanted, The Winter Garden, The Night Circus. Then we've got like the Twisted Fairy Tale retelling. So Hooked, Twisted, Scarred, Wretched, The Shatter Me series, and then A Dark Shade of Magic and The Fragile Threads of Power arc. This then is an overview of the TBR cart. So we've got my uni books here, so they won't be here for long. So I'll just move them out of the way for now. This is the hardback shelf. So Starbringer the Fraud, Herc, Babel, An Inheritance of Magic, The Hurricane Wars, Foxglove, in these hallowed halls. This second shelf is my proof copy shelf. So these are all proof copies. So we've got Girl, Goddess, Queen, Perilous Times, Dragonfall, Wild and Wicked Things, Fall of Ruin and Wrath, What the River Knows, Ashes to Ashes, City of Stardust, Decay of God, Fathom Folk, The Shadow Key, Letters to the Luminous Deep, Infinity Alchemist, A Tempest of Tea, The Briar Book of the Dead, Where Sleeping Girls Eye. I'm so excited for this one. Compass and Blade. And then these are my indie published books. These are books that are slightly larger. And then this shelf we've gone through, nothing's changed. So I'm now going to count and go through how many books I have on my physical TBR. I do know there are some in the loft, but just for now, I'm not counting those. So I'm counting just these books here. Okay, so BRB. Okay, I've just counted and it's not as bad as I thought. It is over 100, but it's below 200. And I was really stressed about that. I know, again, ignore the books in the loft, okay? I don't even want to talk about that right now. But I have 144 books in the TBR cupboard and on the TBR cart. And I'm getting rid of a load. You'll see a massive unhaul. So I need to go through it. So my Goodreads right now is up to date with what I've just added. It's not up to date what I've taken off because I'm going to do that another day because I can't, I don't have the time today. Sorted. I'm so happy. Um, and now I can put my nice copies of books on here as well, which is perfect. So yeah cool okay i think that's it for this video i just wanted to go through my physical tbr with you and show you the books that are on there how many i have and how i'm organizing them so like i said top shelf of the tbr cupboard romance and miscellaneous books which falls into fiction literary fiction thrillers that type of stuff the second shelf of the tbr the tbr cupboard is proofs and indie books then the bottom shelf is hardbacks and then the tbr car is fantasy series or like the first books of fantasy series that i don't own the rest of yeah i'm super happy with that i'm kind of like proud of myself i'm like wow 144 books that's so great <laughs> she's delusional but anyway thank you guys so much for watching today's video i'm sorry if this is a little weird i don't know how i'm gonna edit this like so i don't know we'll see what it ends up being like but thanks for watching i love you guys i hope you don't have that many books on your physical tbr because it's painful and again, don't talk about, if I see one comment about, but days, what about the books in the loft? Surely that makes it up to at least 200. I know. Okay. I know. Bye. Love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>